kids, my name is Joycey Horsey. Are you ready to read with me? Yes, yes, yep, yep, yes! Yep, 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 yep. Okay, let's go! Hello to Eula and B-Boy Pesebra of Quezon City, Philippines. If you'd like us to give you a shout out, just message us on Facebook or Instagram at Joyful Stories. Today, we are going to read the book, Tell the Truth, Tyler. Are you ready? Let's begin. Half an hour before supper, Dad put down his tools and stared hard at Tyler's face. Did you eat chocolate cake? He asked. No, said Tyler, blinking his eyes and biting his lip. Are you sure you didn't sneak a piece? Dad asked. Why does he keep asking? Tyler wondered. Then, Dad took Tyler to the hallway mirror. There, Tyler saw two big brown eyebrows, two big brown blinking eyes, one set of chocolate-covered lips, and one chocolate-covered nose. Oops! Now, Dad said, Did you eat chocolate cake when Mom told you to wait? Tyler looked at his feet. Yes, he answered softly. Why didn't you tell me the truth? Dad asked, gently wiping the chocolate from Tyler's nose. I was afraid to, Tyler said. You know, Dad said, it's not always easy to tell the truth, but God says it's the right thing to do. The Bible says, stop telling lies, tell each other the truth. Even if it's hard to do, speak up and tell the truth. My teacher found gum on the floor and wondered who had the gum before. I felt bad and didn't tell it was mine. Is that a lie? Tyler asked. Saying you did it is hard to do, but not speaking up is lying too. Stop telling lies. Tell each other the truth. Even if you feel bad, speak up and tell the truth. When I wash my hands at school, but don't use soap, which is the rule. Is it a lie if I say I washed my hands? Half-truths are still lies, you see. Lies that hide the truth from you and me. Stop telling lies. Tell each other the truth. Don't hide in a lie. Speak up and tell the truth. I drew in a book the other day, but no one noticed when I put it away. I won't get in trouble if no one knows, Tyler said. A lie is a lie, no matter what, even if you don't get caught. Stop telling lies. Tell each other the truth. God sees the truth anyway, so speak up and tell the truth. Just then, Tyler's little sister skipped into the room. Dad stared hard at her face. Did you cut your hair? He asked. No, Sarah said in a wee little voice. Here we go again, Tyler thought, as he looked from Sarah's safety scissors to her crooked cut curls. And Tyler and Dad together said, Stop telling lies. Tell each other the truth. Even when it's hard to do, speak up and tell the truth. Ephesians 4.25 says, So put away all falsehood and tell your neighbor the truth. The end. Hi kids, my name is Cookie Cow. See you next time. Bye. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe.